a group of organisms staying in a particular locality for a defined period of time is um, known as a population the interaction means the actions on each other it can be positive interaction it can be negative interaction depending on the kind of or depending on the nature of activity which the organism is going to perform now this nature of activity is dependent on various factors some of the factors can be uh, on the basis of food suppose an organism is there and that organism wants to feed it will be dependent on the nature of food suppose the same food is going to be taken up by two or different groups of organisms which are present in a particular area or a population now these uh, both the organisms they if they are of same species then they will be competition in between them in order to get the food the one who gets the food will be able to survive and the one which could not get the food will die because of malnutrition or lack of food now similarly it can also be a kind of interaction on the basis of uh, shelter think about a big tree in a tree there are various ecosystems which are sustaining now suppose um there are various types of woodpeckers parrot all these they drag a hole inside a uh, inside the stem of a tree and stay over there in that nest which they have prepared by digging a hole inside the stem now think about all of them belonging to the same category where they make a nest in a similar type now there will be competition for shelter in that case uh, suppose at the same time we have four different varieties of bird one of them they stay at the canopy and another the hole and stay over there few they make nest and they stay so these all can stay together in a symbiotic relationship with each other in the same tree and there will be no problem which can be faced by any of these uh, birds so that is known as interaction or it is a uh, the reason for interaction there can be some other reasons as well like uh, there can be same space where they all are going to reproduce so selection of brooding space can be a site for competition it can be a site where suppose a uh, 10 different types of organisms they all are laying eggs at the same time so there can be competition so that uh, they the one who is much more powerful gets the best site for laying eggs so there is higher survival for the one who can lay egg over there there can be again competition between the males for getting the most futile female so in case of birds or various lower and uh, various animals we see that there is lot of competition going on in the males for getting the best female so that they can forward their genes to the next generation so these all interaction they are dependent on the factors like shelter food at times habitat even brooding various uh, factors play a very vital role in the interactions now these interactions depending on the different um, factors of interaction they can be positive they can be beneficial for both the organisms or both groups of organisms which are involved in the process it can be negative or it can be harmful for one of the organism and beneficial for the another it can be harmful for vice versa like first organism may be benefited second organism can be harm and um, vice versa like second organism can be benefited and first organism can be harm in either ways neutral relationships can also be seen where one organism is benefited and another organism is not getting any benefit out of it it is just not getting affected at all neither a negative interaction is going on nor any harm is going on to the next organism so that these are various types now we will be discussing in detail about the mutualism and over here you can see that the first term which is uh, visible is symbiotic relationship the meaning of symbiosis is to live together so we have come across this term various times and the meaning is very simple it just means that two organisms which are capable of staying together in a mutualistic relationship are known as mutualists and the kind of interaction they are going to have is known as mutualism so here it can be two species and the interaction between these two species are 
giving us benefit uh, or is giving benefit to both the organisms which are involved in this kind of partnership so here is um, uh, first time we have discussed about or if you remember first time when we came across the term symbiosis it was given for the lichens what is the lichen it consists of an alga as well as a fungi and both of them they are present in a mutualistic relationship in such a way that each of the fungal hypha has presence of intertwined algal cell within it now fungi is going to provide water and alga is going to perform the process of photosynthesis so food is being provided by the alga uh, to the fungi so this kind of relationship can be seen in lichens and both of them they are getting benefited in this process because the alga it cannot survive in dry climatic condition but with the help of fungus it can even survive in dry situation because it is getting continuous supply of water from and minerals from the fungus and similarly a fungus cannot make its own food but it is getting its own food with the help of this alga so this kind of interaction is known as mutualistic interaction if you think about this diagram which is given next in the this diagram in this diagram you can see a corn shell which is having a crab within it and there is attachment of a sea anemone over it now the scientific name of sea anemone is adamsia whereas hermit crab this crab is known as a hermit crab and it is eupagurus both of them they stay in a symbiotic relationship in such a way that um, both of them they will be benefited with each other for example think sea anemone how do they or first of all we will think uh, talk about this corn shell what is the importance of the corn shell because crabs do not have any shell over their body so the reason why the hermit crab targets or tries to enter inside a corn shell is in order to protect itself from the nidoblast cells of the edemsia if you remember the edemsia is a free living form or it's a kind of uh, it is a kind of nido nidarian which has presence of nidoblast cells these nidoblast cells have a nature of stinging so if the crab is stung by the sea anemone it will die so in order to protect itself it is taking shelter inside a corn shell now corn shell provides the surface for attachment of the edamsia over it edamsia when it attaches over it it is uh, it is definitely having food now food particles can be small fishes it can be small arthropods whatever is nearby it is going to eat it and since the crab it is going to move from one place to another along with the crab the edamsia will also move and will be capable of eating food from different um, surroundings or different areas what will be the benefit which is uh, going to be taken up by the crab hermit crab is getting food the sea anemone cannot eat all the food which it is uh, feeding on some of the food particles they will be coming down or it will be just uh, dripping off from the mouth or the hypostome of the sea anemone so the food particles which fall off they are those food particles they are taken up by the hermit crab so hermit crab is benefited by its nutrition and the edamsia it is capable of movement and over here both of them they are helping each other for the process of survival and both of them they are equally beneficial to each other so this kind of interaction is known as mutualism if you think about another one example it can be of the termites and the flagellates if you remember that what is the function of termites or what do what are the termites termites are uh, the organisms which are found in the wood and what do they do they bite off the wood or they feed on the wood but generally the termites they they are not having the presence of cellulase enzyme within them if you remember so why is cellulase important in order to draw nutrition from the wood so this cellulase enzyme is brought or is made available to the termites with the help of trichonema it is a kind of flagellates this flagellate is capable where, where are they found they these flagellates they are found in the intestine of the 
termites and over there they secrete the enzymes like beta glucosidases which convert the cellulose of wood into sugar beta let me write so with the help of this beta glucosidases the cellulose is converted into sugar and from the sugar bo both of them the flagellate as well as the termite both of them they are going to draw their nutrition now the termites they can die if there is no trichonympha which is found in the intestinal tract so it is very important that the flagellates the trichonympha they must be found in the body or the intestine of the termites so uh, this is another one example you can think about even the flower and the insects both of them they are dependent on each other even the rhizobium if you remember rhizobium it is a kind of nitrogenous bacterium and um, it is capable it is found in the root nodules of the leguminous plants and is capable of converting the or fixing the ammonia atmospheric nitrogen into ammonia because ammonia can only be taken up by the plants so this is a uh, one example if you see the uh, diagram you can very well understand that the termites they can um, how the interaction is taking place both of them they are very important for each other for their survival so this is about the mutualistic relationship there are various examples you can think about few but learn properly minimum of three to four examples along with the names of organisms involved scientific name of the organisms involved